Hello, everybody. You see the giant eyeball in the background. You know what it is. Yep, here it is. It is... Resident Evil. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. Couldn't have said it better myself. This is the game that literally scared me shitless as a child. Damn. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You heard me say it. Exactly. Because everyone should know how hordes of zombies follow you in this game. And we're going to be playing Leon's store at side B. And everyone should know what that means. You haven't, though, but you're about to find out. That's right. So, I, for my own uh, personal preference, I always liked Claire A and Leon B. and made more sense to the story canon, I guess. Mm -hmm. And also, since we've seen how badass Claire was in Revelations 2, now we get to see the humble beginnings of Leon before we go to 4. Mm, and so the now, next one we're going to play is Jill. This is the uh, humble beginnings of Claire, too, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. These two are basically how they first got, I guess... Uh, introduced into the story plot and their own survival horror for this crapola. Because after this is Re is Co Veronica X is the next time we play as Claire and we don't ever play as her again until, until Revelations. Revelations, which I think was sad, but still I loved it. Is Claire a officer in this one? Nope, she's just a regular. She's citizen? just a regular. I think she just re pretty much just went out of uh, took a break from college to look for her brother. Oh, and balls. yeah, because as we since we played the first one, he went missing after a year after the incident because he's been trying to warn people. Umbrella did this, but no one's believed him because there's no proof. Because well, what happened to it? It blew up. The T virus mm. outbreak yep. in Raccoon Well, we City. had to blow it up because Tyrant would have gotten yeah. And then you know, escaping uh, from the city, along with one of the only yeah. other survivors. So him and Jill and Barry and any other people that would a listen girl join together Sherry. and try to get him. And so she comes here because it's the last place that she heard. However, mm. behind their escape mm -hmm. was the lone survivor. And, you and Sherry, right there, that's another department. person that's going to be in five. Okay. Leon S. Yep, who was only a cop for a day. How, how many people can say that? I was a, a cop for a day on the zombie apocalypse, and I survived. And I handed in my badge as soon as that 24 hours was out. Yep. Because, no... Once I faced undeath, there's nothing else that you can show me in this world. Now I'm gonna go beat off in a nunnery. Yep, and then that's why they needed his uh, expertise in four. I would be so, sh I'd be so scarred and shocked. You would be able to find me. I go missing like Chris. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would try to find Chris like Bigfoot. Yeah. What have we got here? But um, what was it? Oh, and already the voice acting is better. Yeah. Well, like I said, I always thought that they did it to save money. Yeah. So the reason why they made the voice acting so bad, they made it like a big horror movie, you know? <laughs> save money also kind of take the tension away from the survival <laughs> horror because the talking is so far between. Yeah. Guys, and mostly I'm just you surviving my hordes upon hordes of monsters. in mostly silent. Yep. Great audience if you're in an empty house. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're... If you know how to do speed run like what we did, you can mm. just go by real fast. Mm. But back then, there was no walkthroughs, all this other stuff, mess. so you just walked around the house what or mansion and figured it out and mm -hmm. wasted a lot of bullets in the process. Yeah. Now, I know then, what was that? I'm pretty sure a lot of people had to restart the game so they can figure out, what like, I didn't see all these bullets things? here. Oh, yeah, but they even had to restart, right. like, midway That's through once they were out there. Don't yeah. move! But that was back to the era of game where... It's okay to do that. Yeah, I feel as no, angry. Because no, yeah, here's the funny thing. Is a lot of these games are very short. But they seem so long to how long it took. To figure it out. Yep. So, it's up as I said before, while we're doing this, Claire is in the diner right now, being attacked by her own zombie, and she's about to leave them. This is the first time they ever met each other. And, ta-da! Uh, wait! Don't shoot! Get down! She looks so <gasps> Yeah, because here's the funny thing. See, in the game right now, he looks like he's a ginger, the doesn't he? Station. Yep. It'll be a lot but he actually has dirty blonde hair. Really? So that's, so that's the close. See, there's blonde right there, but they couldn't really actually get that dirty blonde. So he kind of looks like there. he's got a ginger in, one, in certain places, yeah. and then brown hair in others. See? Rock a lot. Yeah. Okay. It's weird, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that's right. As he just sees everybody. What's going on? Oh, also, if you notice that one zombie right there had the same outfit as Claire. Radio was a zombie. I think You're that was an Easter egg or right? something a long time ago. Yeah, huh. first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. 
Mine's Claire. He said he Claire didn't even Redfield. make it to the station. Nope. He came to find my brother. He didn't even get place. it to Ace. He was about to go to the station. He saw the, um... Oh, look who it is. Larry! Nope. Remember the trucker? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he didn't even get a chance to get to the police station hey, yet. This is his first time Did you open the glove box? Yeah. Sure. There's a gun inside. Yep. Better take it with you. And uh, Whoa. Hey, look, it's his cousin. Yeah. Kind of looks like him, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, now this is how the story changes, right? You see where the police department to the left. See, we're gonna get out to the left. She's gonna get out to the right. She has to go the long way. We you get okay? we took the shortcut. Mm. Still in one piece. Now, if we played Leon A, the car would flip around. Hey. He's so lucky. Hey. Hey. And yep, he started the turn. Wow. This is how we get him. Understandable. Yes, indeed. Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Yeah, because the first survivor you actually meet, depending on who you play as, he talks too differently to you. Mm. He's, he's like flirty and sweet to Claire. He's kind of strong and err to Leon. Really? And there's the gun he has, you can get. If you leave the building and go back, you'll hear that he's attacked and he'll be eaten by zombies when you pick up his gun. Or if you stay around long enough, he'll bust through the window and kill him. And here they come. And hold on, wait for it, wait for it. And everyone should know this. Ready, everybody. Hold R1 and press square ten times. Turn off infinite ammo. Ta -da! Huh. I can't believe I still remember that code. <laughs> wow. Yep. So okay. when you see it's red, that means it's on. Oh. And you'll find out when we do... Swing! See? Infinite ammo for knife. Infinite knife ammo. Yep. The Everblade. So yeah, we're just... Because uh, I remember in this first part, I only had six bullets. Yep. And Fresh on hard mode. I wasted all of my bullets. Hey, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Thank you. You just leave me alone now. Like, when you didn't know about that cheat, the only thing that you could do in the stretch ball was run by him. Yep. I didn't know that, so yep. oh, uh -oh. I got mangled. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, so, let me... Okay, yeah, that's status. I keep forgetting uh, that it's circle for this one. Okay. Oh, the door transition? Mm-hmm. So now we're in... This is the quick way to go to the police station. While we're doing this, Claire's going the long way through a whole horde of... Nasty. And that sucks. Yep. I remember this one, I like this one best, uh, for killing zombies with a shotgun, because you can split them in half. Really? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you aim it just right, it'll, it'll blow them in half. Oh, wait. See, this game was so creepy to me back when I was younger. Yep. Because you hear him moaning, and it's just unnerving. And you see the some of his flesh and bone right there. What's that bandage? I can't tell. Either uh, way, it's still, you can see him bleed. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so there should be... Yeah, remember this for later. Okay. And it's crazy because he's dead, but he's still twitching, so yep. it's like, is he dead, really? Not really, he just, just doesn't have enough blood to move around, I guess, anymore. Because remember, officially, if you kill him, you have to shoot him in the head. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, because, um... Alright, so... Yeah, originally here we would have gotten a shot. Yeah, we don't. That's, that was also one weird thing. It has to. You don't need it anymore. You want to keep it? No. Why would I want to keep that? It just clutters up my inventory. Yeah. And here it is. Da 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 da. Look at that typewriter. Yay. And we don't need the handgun bullets, but we do need the ink ribbons, I think. Yep. That's what we're gonna need those, cause this is how you saved back in the day. Yep. And you had a limited amount of. And look at that sexy picture. Yeah, I can tell she's doing all types of stuff. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just this. Oh, hmm. What happened outside? Door. This. Whoa! Hey! Surprise! Okay, that that genuinely did it. Hey, bye. Um, see you guys. Hey, hey. But I thought uh, they had broke in behind us instead. Oh, they did. They broke through the gate, and then you just you open up the door, and they just when they come in. Oh. Now I'm trying to remember. Did this one have the quick turn? 
No, three is when they first start the interesting quick turn. Let's quick turn. Uh, we can quickly turn around. Mm. All you have to do is press down and run, and it'll, it'll turn around. This one you actually literally have to turn. Oh, so you still have to do the walk in a full circle. Yeah. Oh, oh. Got it. oh boy. I have one on. Okay, I should be fine. Still I want to keep sure of that. And lady zombies. Hey, how's it going? There we go. Push I like how zombies are so uncoordinated that if you push them hard enough, they just fall over. Yeah, especially these types. Anywho. What? Dup, 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 dup. Uh, hey. The stairs. Yep. Oh, look, cutscene. Uh, yeah, when you first start off this player or the scenario hey, A, you just, you just see this Hurry. helicopter bird and you have no idea why. I'll drop you on a ladder. Yep. So he's the last yeah. remaining cop yeah. off me. That's alive. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Uh, I think he's missing all the yep. bullets. Yep, he's, you know, right. They're probably dead. Oh, and... Ah, oh, wow. He shot him the helicopter back. And... Death. Well, at least that's two less zombies we have to worry about. Yeah, well, technically I guess four, I guess. If there's two other ones gnawing on his organs. Mm-hmm. And that's how the helicopter gets there. Did Leon see all that happen just yep. now? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't do anything to help either. No. So, now he can't get out. No. Nope. Now we'll be, we'll be, yeah, now that he can't get out, but um, now we need to get the uh, wheel or the... I can't believe I'm, I can't remember what it is, but it's a, a valve so we can get the water out. <clears> so we can extinguish it so we can go to another part of the level because it's on fire. Mmm. Good green herb. I love my green herbs, man. Oh, yeah. Back to the original. Yeah. yeah so Claire's already been through here. Mmm. Because the crows only pop out when someone comes in earlier. Mmm. So she's ahead of us a bit. Mmm. Crows are... Crows are something else in these Resident Evil games. Yep. And this thing. Like this is oh my gosh! Hey, bye. Crows. There's a cutscene. Those are the liquors. 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 So I take it that they tend to lick things with their undulating tongues. Oh, very long tongues. You can. We'll find a dead body that actually looks like he's had his head ripped off. Wow. And that okay, was you just on tongue strength alone. Mm-hmm. Right. So, come on. We need this real quick. Yeah, this tells us about the stone statues. And for right now, you guys can. Go yeah, back. she's pretty much, pretty much talking about how the dip, uh, the chief can afford all these wonderful paintings and statues and all this stuff. Now, Claire, she has a lockpick. We have to have small keys. Mm. Yeah, because where our sub item is is a lighter. Mm. And that's what her thing is. She would have to actually find a lighter. So here's what we're gonna do first. So, ta-da! Now we don't need our handgun anymore. We don't need this. And we don't need this. We don't need this either. Uh, I may keep the key. So, yeah, whoops. Oopsie. I don't think I have anything else here. Nope. Alright. So what do you think? Submachine gun, rocket launcher, or Gatling gun? Gatling gun, of course. All right. And, uh, yeah, later on when the enemies get to... Wait, um, yeah, let's get Gatling gun for now. And, yeah, I will need a small key until later. All right, then, let's get rid of that liquor. Yeah. You know, for a second when you said, let's get rid of that liquor, I thought you were talking about a real alcohol drink. There you go. That's another way of putting it. Yeah. Like, we, we have that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the hallway that you can actually- Hey there! How's it going? Yep. Dead. He deserved every single bullet. Yep. And he's got two. He's got a friend. There should be a third one, I think. Where are you? Now, Where are I you? heard at the time that liquors could crawl on ceilings yep. as well. Mm -hmm. And walls. Oh. And jump. Yep, see? That reminds me of the helicopter crash that happened in Revelations 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, let's go this way first. Because I don't think that door is unlocked yet. Now, I will say that the music that they have in this game seems appropriate. And yeah. It's very dramatic. So, right now, we're in the giant uh, police station. And See, it's right empty. downstairs, that's where we originally would have came from. That's where Claire went to. Mm. Alright, so we have to go all the way to the other side. Okay, I just better kill those things first. That was the I cool thing. You can hit them from all the way across the street. Really? Mm -hmm. So, this was true auto target. Yep. Alright, so we need this for quick escapes for later. Because zombies in this game don't know how to climb ladders. No, but I have to worry about the other things that can, don't need ladders. Yeah. Alright, so... Ooh, boy. Hi. Ah. Hey, friends. Come on. You ain't pulling me. I know you're... Yeah, until I see a pool puddle of blood, you ain't... I don't see you dead. Ha. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, oops. I know your games. Yep. Ta -da. Ah. And then when, when we switch over to the rocket launcher... Oh! Rocket launcher, you, it's funny just to see their whole entire bodies explode. Really? Yep. That's awesome. Yep, and here's this. Now this would be somewhere completely different when you play Claire. Mm. Yeah, the um, scenario would be all the items and materials are switched. They're mm. in completely different places. Oh, that's cool. Yep, now we need the electronic card from... Cleveland, I think is where, I, where he is. Anyway, let's go downstairs. Yeah, I think this is also where we get the shotgun, too. Hmm. I think it should be on the front desk. Hmm. Yeah, also, if you... When you play the game, I don't think it will count it since I picked up items. But if you don't pick up anything, you don't get hurt. You go back to the front of the police station, and then you'll find, um... Oh, I forgot his name, but, uh... The, but it was from... It's the helicopter guy that uh, flew us out in the first one. Mm. Oh, he'll be here? Yeah, he, you see more of him in 3, but yeah, since like I said, this is happening a couple hours, uh, I think before or after 3, or during 3, basically. Mm. Okay, yep, yeah, now it's, now we just need to get the key, now it's ready to activate. I don't think it will let me do it, but I'll just check. Mm-hmm. Because you get a special key that you can use in a locker to get alternate costumes. Oh, that's cool. But I don't know if it'll let me do it since I picked up stuff. Either way, we'll find out. Yeah, so you just go down here. Oh, I think he's here. He's here! Whoa. Yeah, he's hard. He's a little tough, but he, he's, he gives me very rewarding stuff. Yay, special key! So he was already turned into a zombie? Yeah, well you see what what how that happened in three. Oh, okay. I was about to say, oh that's kinda sad. Yeah. We gotta kill him already. Yeah, well he's already turned yeah, well trust me, he he had a rough way of turning. Mm. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to three. Mm. Alright, so let's go find that key thing and we'll end the episode there. Thing. Nope, okay, so I don't need that. You know what's really cool is, you know, as you go and you play a series of games, seeing how everything is related and interlocked. Yeah. So, you know, your point of references keep uh, piling up. Not piling up, but... Clicking? Yeah. As you play the games. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that... Oh, yeah, okay, that's what... Uh, I like that feel. Okay, so I was right. I do have to go to the, um... Oh, you idiot. Yeah, we'll end it with this little cutscene here. I completely forgot I had the unicorn. The unicorn medallion? Yep. All that for that. <laughs> I'm surprised it landed so neatly. Yep. And then... Da-da-da! We have the precinct key. And what is this precinct key, you say? Well, it is. It's in the shape of a spade. Now it is the spade key. And we'll end it there.
It's so we just changed the key? Yeah, we just changed the name of the key. What? Yep, exactly, right? Okay, so that's a thing. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've started on our adventures in Resident Evil. Where are we? Are we in Raccoon City? Yeah, we're in Raccoon City in the police department. So we're in Raccoon City, the very next stage for the Resident Evil series. And this is exciting. Already, I passed my childhood fear. Mm-hmm. That is great. Yeah, I'm off prepared to, to have it for more. I know, right? Um... There are more surprises in store for us as we continue, so we eagerly will continue the next time. So thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shane. I'm the Mad Hatter. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.